first up on Telebox, atop Coronation Street, Insider has revealed there'll be fireworks in Weatherfield when Tony Gordon returns later this year. The bad boy businessman, played by Gray O'Brien, has been banged up since November after confessing to being involved in Liam Connor's death. Kim Crowther, one of the show's leading producers, says his comeback will be as dramatic as any of his other storylines. Katie Price is promising more drama with the new series of her reality show. But if you think it's going to be a repeat of her telly exploits with ex-husband Peter Andre, think again. Kate says she's keeping her new marriage to Alex Reid on the down low and keeping him away from the cameras. There is bits and bobs in the show, but the show's called What Katie Did Next, not Kate and Alex. So, of course, he does appear in the show, but it's not really full on because um, it is about me. And plus, he's got his own job, his fighting show. You know, we've got our separate, like, jobs ourselves, and that's how it should be. We shouldn't just rely on each other for work. And finally, Girls Aloud star Kimberly Walsh is getting ready to do a Cheryl Cole and swap music for telly. The singer is reporting from the red carpet at the BAFTA Film Awards and is hoping her previous experience will help with her new job. I'm usually the one being, you know, answering the questions. But I don't know, I think that might actually give me a little bit of an advantage because I, hopefully I know what kind of questions people will be happy to answer and I can kind of hopefully get a good relationship with the people that I'm interviewing because I know what it's like to be on the other side. That's what I'm hoping anyway.